When Asquez has caught more baseballs in the stands at Major League Ballparks than anyone in the history of the game. He's also written two books, Watching Baseball Smarter and How to Snag Major League Baseball. It's from Zach Hampel. Fan and author Zach Hampel is here with us this morning. Zach Hampel. Zach Hampel. Zach Hampel. Zach Hampel. Zach Hampel. Zach Hampel has snagged 3,763 balls from 44 different Major League Ballparks. Here, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Zach Hampel. You ever had this thing where the kid is going, your hand goes out and grabs it first, and then do you give it to the kid? Yeah, so yeah, I'll catch balls and hand them right so over. So you'll step I've, over little kid to get the I ball. I knock him over all the time. It makes it twice as fun. Um. <laughs> now, usually when I do this, a hush falls over the crowd. People are laughing. They don't know what in the world's going on. Sometimes I'm doing this trick from 40 feet up, and there's a whole level of fans below me. They see the glove drop down. It falls over the ball. And when I lift it up... So let's get you set up so you can do this glove trick. Yeah, you almost had it. You got to adjust it so it's just, just right. Now jiggle it around. You got it. You got it, my man. That's your first ball ever? Yeah, baby. Up next, the dedicated baseball fan who has mastered the technique of catching home runs. This is The Early Show on CBS. There's a lot of foreign players in Major League Baseball. Players love to toss balls into the crowd. If you ask a foreign player in his native language, he'll toss you a ball. Spanish, dame la pelota, por favor. Japanese, choto, boro nagate kudasai. So learn some languages, use the skills. Guy that catches the baseball. This is Tuesday. Catches the Giambino's home run. Yep. And there's that guy. Right, he's got the souvenir and he does this dance. For the AIG sign. Oh, he's become big. Then this is Wednesday. This is the next day. Johnny David hits a home run. And look, it's the same guy. The Scrabble T-shirt on. And this time we edited out. Yeah, that's two. Dude. Dude. We edited out the dance. We figured give you a break. There? Bottom three. Uh, Bobby Abreu. Not three in a row. Well, maybe his second of the game, Abreu. He's 19th of the year. Where's our guy? Now you'll note our guy is wearing the yellow shirt. He's in the Mayo Jones. Right there. Just beyond the guy who's now a celebrity, by the way. He's signing autographs out there. Mm, donuts. I was basically balancing on my stomach, and I judged that the ball was falling short. So while I was on my stomach, I reached way, way, way out and down over the wall. And uh, I don't want to say that I almost flipped over the wall, but if the ball were like six inches lower, I would have had to just reach six inches more, and it might have gotten ugly. How'd you get that one? I had to sneak through security, got down to the field level, yeah. ran to the dugout just as the Braves won the game. I did have my Braves hat on. I'm not a Braves fan, but I had to kiss up and look like I was really yeah, sure, sure. I understand. <laughs> no, you're doing what you have to do to get a ball. Now, what's going to happen if the foul ball comes our way? What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to knock over the camera, elbow you in the jaw, um, jump up and start running like hell. The batter will huh? occasionally pat the top of his helmet. And that's a secret code, and he's telling the second base umpire to get out of his line of vision so he can see the pitch better. So, for example, put your glove in front of my face for a second. Oh, let me get it out of the way. Thank you, yeah, thank see, that you. Worked. Thanks for reading I the exactly sign. What you were I picked me. up that tip in your fantastic book. A lot of people don't realize why it is that a hitter might swing at a pitch that's out of the strike zone and just stand right. there like a statue when a good one goes by. That's because pitches are thrown with different speeds and different spins. They come in so fast that the hitter has to base his decision to swing on just the beginning of the path of the pitch towards home plate. A fastball only takes four tenths of a second to reach the plate. So if you're the hitter, you have about one tenth of a second to decide. Don't don't look at me, Rockies. Don't look don't look at me. Don't look at me. What? What? I was wearing this all day. What? What? I always raise my voice about an octave when I'm asking for a ball. Oh, to sound younger? Yeah, can you throw me a ball, please? Will real Zach Hample, please stand up. You know, it's just amazing that this guy, Zach Hample, has time to do all that. I'm reading what is now his second book. It's called Watching Baseball Smarter. Wow. It's a books? fantastic, yeah, two books. I'm in the uh, statistics um, chapter right now. We're talking about on-base percentage, and it's really good. Sounds fascinating. Tim Callishaw, you are a writer. How many books have you written? Two less than Zach Hample, I guess. <laughs>